What up, YouTube? Dave Medic One. This is a kind of a progress report on the Gil Hibben reprofile project. Uh, well, last time you saw the video, uh, the handle was not cut out, um, and uh, there's a couple other things. Uh, but just I kind of forget what I posted in the other video. It's been a minute. Um, I do have another video I had already done on this, as with it not as far as as far, not as far as progress as it is now, but I'm just probably not going to even post that. I'll just go ahead and post this one because this kind of really much shows where I'm at right now. Um, on this guy here, I went ahead and uh, took some more steel to make a narrow profile on the edge here, and I went ahead and cut the handle out. Um, as you can see there, kind of got it in black there. Um, the handle is really, really big, but as you can see, it really fits and conforms to my hand nicely. You can see there, either at that grip, or if I slide it back to here, bang. See how the contour of the top end of the handles right there? Works great there. Works great there, or right there for chopping tasks. Um, this is a monster knife, and uh, hopefully the handle the way it was before just made it incredibly uncomfortable. The weight of it is already hard enough to deal with without having a handle that was just total garbage on there. Um, and uh, pretty much just probably as far as this goes, I am trying to find, uh, I'm going to be, a uh, YouTuber had mentioned about possibly bluing the steel like they do to firearms to darken this up, so I may consider doing that. Um, I have to find a drill bit that will go through something that's already been heat treated. That way I can go ahead and put a handle. I'm thinking about just doing either maybe uh, just regular textured black G10 with olive green, uh, OD green liners. Something to that effect. Not too flashy or whatnot. Um, uh, but who knows? It all depends. But that's pretty much the update on that. I did quite a bit to the handle. It took quite a bit of weight off of the knife itself, so it's considerably lighter. Um, doing the handle was a little challenging um, because it was just pretty much going ahead and grinding what I thought was there, cooling it off, putting it in my hand, getting a good strong grip on there, making sure it still felt comfortable, coming back, marking some other sections there to make sure you know any hot spots to go ahead and taper that down making sure it didn't take off too much uh, but then again making sure it did confirm to my conform to my hand grip at either this position choking up position set back and just making sure so as you can see um, I think I nailed it it feels real comfortable to the hand but still I won't know a hundred percent until um, until we have some G10 on there or something like that and then, of course, um, as far as the blade goes, i got to do something to even out the finish and get smooth out some of the grind lines. Uh, maybe some final touch-ups as far as evening the grinding up. Because there's a couple uneven areas, but not too many. Um, I was trying to be as careful as possible. Of course, this is my first time actually reprofiling something of this size, so it took a little bit. So, dealing with a, putting a finalized finish on this, it's going to be durable and last and not be bright and shiny. Um is where I'm at now plus drilling the holes for a G10 handle so that's pretty much it guys that's a reprofile Gil Hibben thanks for watching have any comments please post them below thank you so much for uh, forget what youtuber it was I apologize who turned me on to bluing using gun bluing uh, solution or whatever to possibly change or, or tone down as far beside or as an alternative to patina that was cool. I'm going to look into that. I appreciate that. So comments like that or any opinions or anything, please post them below. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.